When focus modes first came out, I didn't pay much attention. Then I looked at them a little bit closer and it seemed like I needed to do a bunch of fiddling around to make them work. So I lost interest. But then on a business travel trip, I figured out just how handy focus modes can be. Never heard of a focus mode? Stick around and I'll show you how they work in a few easy steps. Hi, my name is Rich. I make easy to follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad. And today's video is all about focus modes. Apple describes focus modes as a feature that helps you reduce distractions and set boundaries. And I'm sure that's accurate, but I don't get a hundred calls a day. So silencing callers and reducing distractions is not how I use focus modes. I mainly use focus modes to change my home screen to be something I want it to be. And I use Control Center to access and turn on specific focus modes. But rather than talk about it, it's just easier to show you. So in today's video, we'll cover how to set up different home screens because you need that, how to set up different lock screens because you need that too, and then we'll create a custom focus mode. All of these in three easy steps. Okay, let's get started. So to make focus modes really practical, it helps to have different home screens and different lock screens. So here is a home screen, and if I access Control Center, and this is where you get to focus modes, I can tap on focus mode, and I can change it to work. And if you'll notice, now my phone has changed. There's no apps on the home screen. If I go back, and I change it to personal. Now I have different widgets or apps on my home screen. And if I go back again and I tap on it and I go back to my travel, you can see that I've got the weather and a note on my home screen. And why this got sort of important to me, when I travel, I always keep an Apple note on my home screen that's got all the details of the travel. You know, my hotel or a condo, uh, reservations of any kind, flight information, that kind of thing. And what I found that I was doing was creating a home screen every time I went on a trip. So I started looking a little bit deeper into focus modes and I realized that you could create custom focus modes. And I thought, man, this might be really handy. So let me show you how I did that. The first thing you have to do is set up some home screens. And if you'll notice, I have no home screens other than this one. If you slide over, you get into my app library. If you take an app and put it on your home screen, we'll do that with reminders. Now I've got a couple widgets and reminders, but I still only have one home screen. So what you do is you press and hold the home screen and just drag the widget over and let go. And now you've got another home screen. So we can go back to this home screen and we got this home screen and then we slide over again and we've got the app library. Well, maybe we want to add contacts to that. So we'll just tap and hold and we'll drag that over to the screen and we'll go back and we'll add mail there and we'll go back and we'll add photos and so now we've got this home screen and this home screen and if you slide over we're back to the app library so now we've created a couple of home screens and the idea here is that you create a home screen with the stuff that you want on it. So the next thing we'll do is we'll create a new lock screen. And as you can see, I've just got my phone here. How you do that is you just slide down from the top and then you press and hold and then you slide over until you come to the plus and you create a new home screen. And you can tap on that and we'll just choose Oh, maybe the earth and we'll click add and now we've got 
a new wallpaper, a new lock screen. And now we slide up and we've got the lock screen. But we still have these same two widgets on there. So this is how we get into creating a custom focus mode. Hey, before we jump into creating a custom focus mode, I want to tell you about the new MagGo wireless charging station from Anchor. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I have a lot of Anchor products in my house, and you know that's because they're all good stuff. And the MagGo charging station is no exception. I road tested it on a business trip to Florida last week, and it performed perfectly. It's compact in design, about the size of an Apple mouse, and significantly smaller than my iPhone 15 Plus. It's got an ultra compact foldable design that opens up to allow you to charge not only your iPhone and your Apple Watch, but AirPods as well. It's also got little rubber feet on the bottom to keep it from sliding around. I don't know about you, but that's so important to me. But what I think I like best is that it's lightning fast when it comes to charging. In fact, it's as fast as Apple's MagSafe charger and twice as fast as the standard 7.5 watt wireless charger. And by the way, it's fully compatible with Apple's original MagSafe standard. Moreover, it charges the Apple Watch really quickly too. A 30 minute charge on an Apple Watch Series 9 will give you a 47% battery boost. In other words, you can charge your watch almost halfway in just a half an hour. The MagGo charging station is perfect sitting on a desk or beside the bed. The fact that it folds up and fits in the palm of your hand makes it perfect for travel. It comes with its own 15 watt power supply and USB-C cable, so nothing extra to buy to get it to work. If you've got an iPhone with MagSafe charging capability, then you need to give this great little charger a look. Check out the links in the description below for more detailed information and an exclusive code if you decide to make a purchase. Okay, back to the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide down, we're going to go on focus, and I've created one called My Travel, and if I tap on that, you'll see it changes it back to the different color and it's got these two apps on it. So I'm going to go into Control Center and I'm going to tap on the focus mode and I'm going to create new focus. I'm going to tap on it down here and I'm going to call it a new name. We'll just call it my focus and we'll give it some headphones and we'll go next and then it'll ask you you can silence notifications you don't want to cross your devices you can share with friends you have notifications you can turn on custom lock screens or you can schedule to turn it on automatically or turn it from control center but I'm not going to get into some of the notification stuff today because that's not important to me if it's important to you you can just continue on and choose people. So if you wanted to limit who could reach you, you would tap on choose people and you could tap silence notifications from and that would let all notifications come into you except who you exclude or you can tap on allow notifications from and that silences everyone except who you allow to communicate with you. Same thing for apps. You can silence notifications from the certain apps you choose and let all other apps give you notifications or you can silence all the other apps and allow notifications from only certain apps. But again, I'm not going to do that today. What we are going to do is choose a lock screen and a home screen. So if we tap on choose, I'll go down here to the lock screen we just created with the earth on it and I'm going to click done and then I'm going to choose the home screen and here's the home screen that we created with the four apps at the top and I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to click done and now I'm not going to get into smart activation. You can actually set it up to where a focus mode 
uh, turns on at a specific time or a specific location. Again, I don't want to get into all of those details. You can explore them. I'm wanting to keep this video as simple as I can. So we're going to go back to focus modes and then we're going to get out of it. So, but we're back to the travel mode. But if I go up here to control center again and I tap on the focus modes, my travel, now we have one called my focus. And if I tap on that, now we have the apps on the home screen we chose and and we have the lock screen that we chose as well. Again, you can go into control center, tap on and you can turn it off or you can press on it and choose a different focus mode. One thing you need to note is that when you create new home screens, they become available in your other focus modes. So if we go into there and we tap on focus again and we go to my travel and we tap the three little dots beside it and we go to settings. Now you can see here we've got the lock screen is the same, but now we've got two different home screens we can choose from. I don't really want to see those four apps, so I'm going to uncheck that and then I'm going to click done. And now when I go into the focus modes, I can go from my focus back to my travel. And there we are. I've got my weather and my note with the details. I'm over to the app library if I need to get into it. And then I can tap on it again and I can go to my focus. And now again, I've got the screen that I had the four apps on back over to the app library. And I have set up other focus modes too. If I go into personal, this sets it up so that when my wife and I go to dinner, we've got photos we can look at, weather, news, things on our calendar, just stuff that we can talk about. And by the way, when we go to dinner, we're not looking at our phones all that often, but sometimes we do. And that's really all there is to it. You can find a lot of uses for focus modes if you just sit down and think about how you use your phone and when you might want to change things on your home screen and your lock screen. Pretty simple. So I'm all in on focus modes now that I've figured out that they're not that hard to set up. I can see just how handy they are in a given situation. Okay, that's it for today's short tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and as always, I'll see you in the next video.